Hello YouTube, here's our second console pr Visual Basic console programming tutorial. That's a lot to say. So in the last tutorial we went over output and how to stop it and today we're going to be talking about something a lot more advanced compared to that. Of course it's just relatively to that. It's actually really simple and if you are in the at least seventh grade, this shouldn't be that hard for you. If you were in your pre-algebra or algebra or class, then you should have learned about this. Variables. I'm going to go over variable basics. So, if you don't know what a variable is, it's like, you know when your teacher told you, right, 4 plus x and they wrote like solve for x and they say 4x equals 6 Oops. 4x equals 6 and then this way and this isn't the right syntax so it's telling me I have an error but comment this out so like what did I do there okay just put a quotation mark or like the single quotation mark at the beginning of anything and it'll be a comment which will be green and won't be ran in the code you can just do this to tell yourself what stuff does um... that's why i'm doing this for this example they would say example sorry <laughs> they would say that for x equals six and then four plus x and they want you to solve for x so the answer would be something like what, ten and so how would you write this in visual basic so we're actually going to leave that up there and we're going to translate this. So for the first line, it's actually simpler than math class. All you have to do is write x equals... Oh, what happened there? Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, wrong programming language. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you want to make a variable, you start it out with dim. And then what, the, what you want to call the variable. For this case, we'll call it x because that's what it's, it's like in our example and you put as integer so it's kind of self-explanatory thanks to visual basics english like substance um, we have an error because x doesn't have value yet so we're making dim basically we're setting or making x as an integer i always do that x is integer and an integer is a number if you learned about this in algebra, then you should know. If you didn't, and you weren't paying attention, or you just haven't had algebra yet, then integer is a whole number. This can be a positive number or a negative number. It's just a whole number. Um, so x equals six. So x equals six. So we want it to say 4 plus 6 what's the answer to 4 plus 6 we're gonna hold another or we're gonna have another value so we're gonna dim the answer so we're just gonna answer as an integer so this way we're gonna have two integers one's gonna be x and one's gonna be answer the answer is so we can sort this easily store this easily and display it easily answer oops sorry for the capital equals 4 plus x so just like this 4x that means x is a variable and we have to set x as a variable and we tell we're telling visual basic here that x is an integer and we're telling that answer is going to be an integer and we're saying you have to find 4 plus x so here we know the answer is 4 plus x and somewhere behind there and so we say here the answer is 4 plus x and now answer has this result that has the answer because it does math for you and yeah it's just you use plus and it's an easy way to use mathematical equations or whatever you want to call it expressions it would be called okay so console dot write we're going to use console.write because it's shorter and because we're not going to need to use another line. When we're making another line, then we'll 
we'll use curve to the right line. Okay, so show you this right answer. That's how you know it's gonna tell you the answer. And we're gonna read line so it stops. So run it. Hey, wait a minute. That wasn't the answer. It just said answer. Okay, now this I want to do this because I didn't explain this in the last video. When you're using and when you're outputting information and you put quotation marks, I didn't tell you guys why you're using quotation marks. But if you don't, it's quotation marks. I mean, you're gonna use text. Like it's actually called a string. It's just it's data that stores text, and that's what quotation marks mean. That's gonna be text inside of the quotation marks is a string of text and if we have it something like five we don't have to use use text because it already recognizes five as a number put five plus three we don't have to do that either because it's going to tell us the answer it's eight now since we already have an answer telling us the answer or storing the answer we just have the right answer and it says ten and that's good that's right, and because the answer is four plus x, and so let's start from the top now. Again, so we're making x and answer into both integer variables, and we're setting x to equal to six, and we're setting answer to equal to four plus x. So answer is four, its own number four plus x. And here we know that x is an integer, and in here we know that x equals 6. So it recognizes like that. And we want it to write the answer. And it's going to write the variable answer, which is right here. And it tells us the answer as written, and then you guys know what console.reline does. So, here's the, I'm going to show you guys a simpler way. We don't have to write these. That we could just write x is integer or dim x is e integer equals six, and here we can dim answers integer equals four plus x. So there's a simple thing you can do for now, and it shortens your code and still gives you the answer of ten. And how much time do we have left? Am I even recording? Yeah, I am. And I don't know where the thing went. So I guess we're around. Alright, let's just guess that we're somewhere. I think this will conclude what we have today. Um, so remember, when you're writing something, if you put it in quotation marks, that means you're using text. And if you write something without quotation marks, it's not going to appear unless it's a variable or a number. or returns variable or number which we'll be talking about in the farther future and yeah it has to have a value of a number or variable unless if you just want to write just off the hand you want to write text you're going to have to do this quotation marks and this is how you write variables and you just I'm going to show you guys if we can add another variable, that's y, sorry, dim y as integer equals 4. And answer, instead of equaling 4 plus 6, it's going to equal, I mean 4 plus x is going to equal y plus x. And we're going to write the answer and it should still come out to 10. So... We'll be talking about mathematical things later, and for this tutorial, we're done. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave a qu leave your question in the comments below, or or PM me. But I really prefer you leave a question in the comments, and I will get back to your comments if you have a question. I I never let a comment go unread. Um like this video and bye bye